Welcome up, guys. All right, welcome to episode two of Austin's TV review. Oh, that rhymes. That's gonna be what it's called going forward. All right, guys. So episode one was, if I remember correctly, I don't remember what TV show it was. I'm sure you guys could tell me in the comments um, what it was. But uh, this is episode two. And this one is the one I'm really excited to talk about and recommend for you guys. So, the other day, um, a little bit of backstory first. So, do you guys remember the movie uh, that came out years ago called Ted? Um, based on um, Seth MacFarlane and uh, uh, Mark Wahlberg was in it. And uh, Mila Kunis, I believe, was in it as well. Um, it came out in 2000-something, I believe. But yeah, so this is kind of like a prequel. Not, I don't know if it's a prequel or just a standalone spinoff thing, but if you guys remember um, Ted 1 and 2 as well, this is kind of where it kind of stems from. Um, so in those movies, you know, you had, Mar you, you had uh, Mark Wahlberg, who this guy's name is John Bennett in this series. Um, so John Bennett wishes one night on a shooting star that his teddy bear comes to life and obviously it happens and then they become best friends over time and they have this thing where it's like thunder buddies so they're both afraid of thunder and they uh they kind of become best friends and that's their kind of thing together is the thunder buddies or whatever so the movies were fun um i always thought that they were going to do a ted three but it never really worked out that way so I always wondered what that would be like anyway because the way the second one ended i don't know how you could follow that up to be honest but uh yeah they did uh they did ted one and then they did ted two as the the sequel so the two movies under their belt and lo and behold i was on youtube one day and i saw a trailer for ted and i was like okay is this like a tv show is this a movie and i had heard about something that Ted was going to be coming back, but I wasn't sure what it was. And so it's like a, it's like a prequel, like a prequel TV show is how I could say it. So you have John Bennett, you have Ted, you have John Bennett's uh, parents, and then you have his niece. Or his, yeah, his cousin who lives with him. And so into the cast, I don't know a ton of names i have to go back and look but all the actors in this were brilliantly cast um so it kind of follows his life um going through high school and or no it's either high school no it has to be high school yeah so it follows john bennett's life going through high school it's like six or seven episodes and it also follows the adventure of ted obviously and this series without a doubt, is one of the funniest TV series I have seen in a minute. And I kind of expected that, you know, Seth MacFarlane brings that comedy, you know, and I'm just blown away by how comedically or how funny and the comedic timing in every single joke was just hysterical. Not only that, this TV show brings back something that I haven't felt in a TV show in a while, and that is every episode has a very unique modern theme to follow and so it's just likable in that sense and honestly just every other character is likable i mean i like all the characteristics of each of them it's like i said it's very grounded in what it's trying to convey in each of the pilot or each of the themes of each episode um the i mean the score is amazing the set design and scenery is great um john bennett is the, the the kid that plays him does really really well um overall this show is just a blast and a fun time just binge watching the show which i have not done in forever and i'm so glad i did because this is made for all ages maybe not kids obviously because it's got a lot of like drugs and sexual themes and swearing and 
um, alcohol stuff, a bunch of bunch of stuff like that. But it is a, a in, you know, it, it's it's not made for kids, but it is a funny TV show that is also very deep and thematic in each of the points it's trying to make in each of the episodes throughout the series. And you don't see that in many TV shows going forward. So yeah, anyway, um, you guys should definitely check this out. Loved watching it. it was a great watch. And uh, yeah, check out Ted. It is on Peacock. It's about five or six episodes, and it's definitely worth a watch. Until the next one, peace, love, positivity.